Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Mammography using magnetic resonance imaging or MRM does a better job of picking up residual breast cancer than other imaging modalities. But using this information routinely to direct treatment in patients with early disease does not appear to improve their prognosis, according to an editorial published in the British Medical Journal. Here's some information about MRM. It is a type of mammography that makes the use of MRI technology, a non-invasive procedure that uses a powerful magnetic field, radio frequency pulses, and a computer to produce detailed pictures of the inside of the breast. It is used to detect breast cancer and to help with the staging of the disease. After treatment, it can also be used to determine how the cancer responded to therapy. An expert from the Eccles Breast Screening Unit at University College Dublin discussing the evidence regarding the benefits of MRM in patients with newly diagnosed breast cancer. He referred to the COMIS trial in which patients with early stage breast cancer were more likely to undergo a mastectomy if they underwent MRM than if they did not. In addition, overall rates were with which patients with breast cancer underwent a mastectomy have increased ever since MRM began to be adopted for widespread use in 2003. But are these additional mastectomies necessary? The available evidence suggests that they may not be. When patients with early stage breast cancer are treated appropriately, rates of recurrence in the originally affected breast are very low, even without mastectomy. In addition, there is evidence that the type of breast cancer present, such as whether or not the disease is sensitive to hormones, is far more important than the prognosis than whether the type of residual disease that can only be picked up by MRM is present. In research concerning the unaffected breast, the eight-year rate of cancer developing in this breast was similar whether or not MRM was used during the initial diagnosis. We spoke with Dr. Malcolm Kell, the author of this editorial, who offered some further insight. Uh, MRI is a fantastic imaging modality. Uh, I mean, it's extremely useful in the management of a number of areas in breast cancer. Obviously, it can be helpful in metastatic disease to define specific features of metastatic disease. For looking at the breast, it's very helpful uh, in the setting of patients that are having neoadjuvant chemotherapy or chemotherapy to shrink a large tumour or to make disease which is inoperable operable. MRI is definitely the, the optimal modality for assessing that response. It's extremely useful uh, in patients that have a genetic predisposition to developing breast cancer, and it's very effective for screening for those patients. But it has to be patients that are at a very high risk, such as uh, BRCA gene carriers. Today's research suggests that while MRM is unsurpassed in its ability to detect the presence of remnants of breast cancer disease, there is no evidence that it should be routinely used in patients with early-stage breast cancer. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.